Welcome back. This week, the 45th annual Seattle International Film Festival gets underway. The 25 day celebration is the largest film festival in the entire U.S., with more than 400 films from 86 countries. Here with highlights is SIF's artistic director, Beth Barrett. It's great to see you it's again. It's lovely to see you as well. So let's talk about opening night and Sword of Trust. Oh, we're so excited to be opening the, uh, the festival with Lynn Shelton's Sword of Trust. Love she's, her so she's much. She's so wonderful. <laughs> and she's bringing Mark Marin with her, um, which is really exciting. It's a great story about. Potential alternate facts, but emotional truths. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just, we're excited. She's the first filmmaker to open the festival twice. And that's such a celebration of women filmmakers, that especially so in great. comedy. We're excited about that. And Lynn will be here in, on New She'll Day be here? on Thursday. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so let's talk about the film The Wild, which is a local film. Yes, it's Mark Titus's follow up to The Breach. And it's all about protecting what you love. And what he loves is salmon and protecting it up in Bristol Bay, Alaska from um, the pebble mine. Uh, the mining operation. Look at that cinematography. I know it's, it's really amazing. Is gorgeous. that drone stuff? Is that how he shoots this? Drones and underwater, Fuck. underwater cameras, and it's just beautiful. And the whole feeling of protecting not just the salmon, but also the people around it, mm -hmm. and the culture, and the, the environment, way of life. and the way of life. That That's is so really gorgeous. Uh, you could watch that without the sound. Absolutely. And, <laughs> and still find that really entertaining. Okay, so there's a Regina Hall tribute. Regina Hall. She's such a great character actress. For almost 30 years, she's been in films, starting with The Best Man and the Scary Movie franchise. And then in the past five or six years, has really turned a little bit more toward the dramatic side, um, keeping her comedy roots, but with The Hate You Give and yeah, her award-winning performance in Support the Girls. And we're so thrilled to have her here. That is June really 2nd. cool. She'll enjoy that, and everybody oh, yes. will love her. Yes. Um, another film, We Are the Radical Monarchs. What is that about? Terrific film about a group of young girls who form essentially an alternate Girl Scout troop that focuses on racial equity and social justice, as well as learning community works and how to work within your political system. And these young them. women are so amazing, and they're really going to be poised to be the next generation of leaders. Um, and we're really thrilled on the June 1st screening, we'll have one of the Radical Monarchs here oh, in Seattle great. with us. That's so helpful. Exciting. It gives you hope for the future, right? Absolutely. When you see some of these young ones. Um, Fashion Fridays at 4 p.m. Yes. at Pacific Place, Jean Paul Gaultier, Freak and Chic. What yes. is this all about? It's Jean Paul Gaultier. <laughs> <laughs> Really looking at how he puts together a show and um, and just all of his amazing costumery. We're thrilled to have this whole series going on throughout the, throughout all four Fridays of the festival. So this is one. There's a celebration. A celebration, which is Yves Saint Laurent and his final runway show. And this film has been shelved for almost 20 years and hasn't been seen really? very how come? rarely. Um, it's there's some power dynamics in it that the people involved were not comfortable showing quite yet, um, but they've since passed on, and so now we are getting to see that, that late 90s, those amazing supermodels, Linda Evangelista and Naomi Campbell right. in their prime, and Yves Saint Laurent putting together his show around them. So it's that incredible. sounds like drama on oh, the stage and so off dramatic. the stage. <laughs> all okay, over. <laughs> so the third one is Timeless Beauty. This is such a special film because it looks at models that are non-traditional, over 50 male models, and how we can work within the world and walk within the world in our own beauty and really celebrating that. Um, I love this film. It's a North American premiere. Um, and we're so thrilled to be able to introduce it to Seattle. Yeah, and there'll be, you know, there's such value in being able to see yourself, right? Absolutely. Represented you someplace. Can't be what you so can't you're not see. Right, exactly. You're invisible um, in many ways. Yes. And this is changing all of that. So the fourth one is about Halston. The Halston. I mean, terrific designer who really broached the, the line between high fashion when he made a partnership with JC Penney's. Um, which, which I was all over, by the I way. Was, <laughs> <laughs> and J.C. Penney's is the best, and you love it when they kind of make these things available to you. So Absolutely. is there any theme this year? So we're looking at both the idea that, um, that the world and people within it can, you know, overcome struggles. There's a lot of political mm -hmm. struggle. There's a lot of emotional and cultural struggle in the world and a lot of people overcoming it. We also want to celebrate the fact that 
film can entertain. And we have a great focus on female directors, especially working in comedy. All three of our gala right. films, Late Night, Nisha Ganatra, and our closing night, Lulu Wang's The Farewell, are women directing comedies, some of the biggest comedies that you'll see this summer. That's um, awesome. So it's really exciting. A lot of us don't realize, and we've just said it, but a lot of people don't realize that SIF is the biggest film festival in the United States, mm -hmm. and we sort of think, well, it's regional, it's local, it's named mm -hmm. Seattle, but it's also named international. Tell me a little bit about the process of growing this so that it does touch on things that are so important from all these different countries. Absolutely. So we have a whole team of programmers, so 35 of us, and we sort through about 5,000 films to come down to that 414. Do? Yes. <laughs> How is that possible? Well, we have very dedicated watchers, yeah. um, and we're really we're looking for lots of different kinds of genres, lots of different countries, lots of different representation, because it's really important for us to be able to bring those communities in, because we believe in the power of film, mm -hmm. the power of film to tell stories, to change the world, to change a mind. And being able to be so broad and to look at so many different types of films from so many different filmmakers, 46% of our filmmakers this year are women, um, which is really important. And it really allows us to bring all of those communities into the theater to have amazing experiences. We want new people to come to the festival Absolutely. as well, right? Not Absolutely. just the, the people who are already film buffs, but for people to understand that this isn't, you know, super high art or terribly avant-garde all the time. You'll understand it, you'll enjoy <laughs> it, you know, even if you're me. So what are some of the more unusual things that you've got? So we have a really terrific film called Yesterday, which is going to come out in the summer, um, starring a musician. Uh, that wakes up and realizes he's the only one that remembers any of the Beatles songs. What? <laughs> so he's suddenly the most the famous Beatles. musician yeah. in the world, in most famous musician in the world. Wow. Very funny film from Danny Boyle, Danny Boyle's new film. Um, and remind done, us what he's done. <clears throat> he's done Train Spotting in the past. Yes. And a number of really amazing and big Slumdog films. Millionaire. And Slumdog Millionaire. Um, and then also on closing weekend, we have Jim Jarmusch's new film, The Dead Don't Die, starring Bill Murray, Adam Driver, and Chloe Savigny oh, um, wow. as zombie hunters <laughs> in that a small sounds town. Fun. Very funny, very dry. Oh my so gosh. there's those kinds of things, those, those sort of bigger, bigger films, Blinded by the Light, Gurinder Chadha's big hit out of Sundance. Um, about a 1980s Pakistani boy living in Thatcher's Britain who discovers the music of Bruce Springsteen. Wow. So some really big films um, that, that are comedies in, in a lot of ways that are really accessible. And going to SIF is as easy as going to any movie. You just go on our website, SIF.net, buy a ticket, or you can go to the theater and buy a ticket, and then go see the film. Right. No big deal. No you big don't deal. have to buy a membership you or any of these kinds of things. You just pass. go to the movies. You just go to the movies. That's awesome. Beth, thank you very thank much. You, it sounds so fun. The Seattle International Film Festival opens this Thursday. It runs through June 9th, and today we have a pair of tickets for five viewers to see a film of their choice. To enter to win, just go to New Day's Facebook page and look for the pinned post at the very top. Answer in the comments below the, that very post, and you'll be entered, and then we'll announce winners very soon. Good luck.